yes, there is two plugs. Um, there's one plug and one greaser. Uh, the you put the Zerk. grease in here. Zerk. Zerk. You put the grease in here, and it comes out of this one right here. Okay. Now the very very first thing that you want to do is take this out before you do anything, because you will forget. And believe me, I've done it. Um, so take this plug out. That's the very first thing you do, and then you start pumping grease. Um, two options. You are either going to replace the grease completely, or you're just going to top it up. If you're just going to top it off, to, you know, you think you need a little bit of grease, or your motor is one or two years old, which you should not be uh, needing to replace the whole grease, um, just take this out, put a couple of, uh, start pumping the grease, and when you see, when you see grease coming out, you put a, I don't know, a, a napkin or a rag or a cup, you start see grease uh, coming out, then put the, the plug back in and then you're good. You're good for another year or so until next season or uh, whatever you choose to check your grease on. Um, if you are going to replace it, replace the whole all the grease, what you're going to want to do, do the same. Take this one out. That's the very first thing you want to do. Take that plug out, but then... The difference is that you're going to start pumping all the grease out, pump out, pump out. You're going to see all the old grease, black grease, red grease, whatever. The old grease is going to start coming out. When you see the new grease coming out, then um, you replace the plug, mm, spin it a couple of times, and maybe do another pump. You don't want to do more than, more than one pumping with the plug in, uh, um, in because then you'll blow the seals. And 99% of the time, the seal that's in here is the one that blows first. And that's not good. That's not good because you will not notice. You don't notice that you're missing grease. You don't notice that it, the grease is coming out because all this is sealed. You will not notice until your clutch fails or the bearings in there fail. And that is an expensive repair.